May the Lord give you his peace. The first Sunday of Lent, reading from Mark chapter 1, verses 12 following. The spiritual tug of war. When I was in school as a young boy, one of my favorite games played with my companions was the tug of war. Two teams holding on to the rope on either sides, trying to pull each other, using all our strength and all our energy to ensure that the other team would be pulled across the line. In Mark chapter 1 verse 12, Jesus is driven into the desert, into the wilderness by the Spirit and there he is tempted by Satan. Jesus is caught up in a tug of war between the Spirit and Satan. He was with the wild animals and with the angels who were ministering to him. And Jesus fighting the wild animals and being supported by the angels. Saint Paul clearly portrays Christian life as a spiritual tug of war between the forces of good and the forces of evil, between God and Satan, between the dominion of darkness and the, the kingdom of God. Saint John will speak about the spiritual tug of war using similar imageries, light versus darkness, law abiding versus lawlessness, life versus death. Jesus by venturing into the wilderness experiences firsthand the spiritual tug of war and having gone through it and come out victorious he now invites people to join hands with him in building up the kingdom of God. He gives us two primary weapons one repentance and the second belief in the gospel way of life. The gospel represents his forthcoming image, message and the invitation from God to accept the good news of salvation. To believe is to accept and to be convinced of the good news. Repentance is to become a way of life, turning away from the kingdom of darkness and moving towards the kingdom of God. From the very moment of our baptism, we were initiated into the spiritual tug of war. We need to train ourselves, equip ourselves, strengthen ourselves for the spiritual tug of war. And just as the spirit and the angels were there to strengthen Jesus, so too they will be ever present to strengthen us too in our spiritual tug of war. May this Lenten season, brothers and sisters, be a powerful experience for each and every one of you while you undergo the spiritual tug of war. I pray that God may give you his spirit and his graces and his angels to accompany you as you move away from the kingdom of darkness and move towards the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. Have a blessed day. Sometimes it causes me to tremble